Okay, so the last video was getting way too long. In this video, we're going to look at uh, how we can migrate into another project. And we're also going to look at how we can start using the actor component and how to add it to an actor or uh, to um, a level blueprint, for example. So I'm just uh, so okay. So for migration, all you have to do is uh, right click on the MPI Music Tools folder, select Migrate, okay, leave everything checked, say OK, go into one of your projects, so your Unreal projects, go into one of them, uh, and go into the Content folder and say Select Folder, and the migration is complete. Now one thing you have to do is to, uh, preferably before you migrate, is going to edit plugins and this is in the project where you're going to migrate this to. Go in there, look for audio, there should be audio here somewhere, look for audio and you want to turn on the Sound Utilities plugin from Unreal. Okay, it's currently in beta version. Uh, you can enable it, it will ask you to restart restart you can restart go go back into the, the project where you have this and migrate it to there and it should all work fine if you don't you're gonna get a few errors in the um, inside of the music functions uh, library okay now if you're worried about compatibility for next versions do not worry uh, the functions that I'm using from Unreal I can produce them myself if if they do not if they stop the development of that plugin on the next version, I'll create the functions myself and it will go into 426. So don't worry about that. So I'm just here in content, I'm just gonna create something separate. I'll just do a new folder and I'll call this tests and I'll do a new map here, file, a uh, new level. Uh, I'll use the default level, it's fine. Okay, new map. I first want to show you how you can add this to other blueprints that aren't actor uh, blueprints. So if I open up this level blueprint, the way we would ha add it here, we don't have add component here, right? Uh, we only have, we can add this stuff, but we can't add an actor component. The way we do that is by using this method. If I go, uh, I believe, is it in audio? Okay, if I write down audio, or poly SP, you get the MPI poly SP, okay? Or if I just say poly SP, you get it here. If you select that, this adds a component, the poly SP actor component, okay? So I'm just gonna do use the, the begin play, and I'll promote this to a variable, the return value. I'll call this poly SP. Right, so now I have the value, uh, the variable. As soon as I select it here or there, you can see that I already have my event dispatcher on patch loaded, which, which will trigger when a patch is loaded. And if I select this component, I have all my, um, hang on a second, you're not seeing this. Okay, I have all my uh, things for the active component. So this is the, the usual stuff that you would expect on audio component in Unreal. So you got the attenuation distance, you got the effects, uh, buses, the sound submix, source effects chain, the concurrency, and a bunch of different stuff. The main one is obviously here on MPI Poly Sample Player, which is your patch name. Right now I have a piano. You can choose another name for an existing patch, and you can choose the attack here and the release. And this is going to be the startup uh, for your patch. You can obviously later on um, load a patch, right? You can obviously load a patch and I got a message there because I have interface set up but this is what you would use to load a patch while in game, all right? We'll go through over all, all the functionality but right now I just want to get it, get it uh, playing something so the patch as soon as you add it and the, 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 the level starts, the patch is loaded, which means that I could just pull out of here and say note, okay, note on. Uh, you can use note on or note on off. Okay, so note on off, uh, it's gonna allow you to use 
this uh, boolean value so if it's checked it's going to be a note on and if it's unchecked it's going to be a note off but you can also use the other simpler ones which is note on and note off so we're just going to say a note on midi pitch 69 I, I don't remember which which one is that but maybe it's an a a3 or a4 something like that we're going to leave it at velocity of 127 and if i compile um a target obviously i need a target there we go okay so if i compile and i play this level okay it plays that note right away right and of course if you wanted to later on in the blueprint access it uh, is functionality you can go here and look for mpi poly sample player you left the you can assign uh, to the events dispatcher on on patch loaded we'll see that later uh, and you have uh, the functions here and if you go down to variables you'll have uh, the mpi poly sample player variables here which is the attack and you can get the patch name now uh, attention to this patch name a variable it's i wouldn't use it because this is the initial patch uh, name if you really want any information about the patch use get loaded patch and get loaded patch will give you the struct which will give you the real the currently loaded patch okay so if you load a different patch while in game it's going to be a different patch name and you can get it here uh, this is the samples all the samples that are set up so you can do a for each loop here and uh, in there you can break that and get every samples the sample pitch which is the root the sample itself which is the WAV file and uh, the coverage the from to coverage velocity etc okay so we'll look at more of the, the functionality uh, as we move along I just wanted to show you that you can add it not just to actor uh, blueprints but to other blueprints as well using this method Right, I'm just going to compile this, save that. No, I don't want to save it actually. Uh, let me just close that. Right, go into texts. Now let's check out a, an actor blueprint. Um, oh my gosh. Right. Okay, so if I right click and say blueprint class and I do an actor, pawn, or character, they're all going to work in the same way. I'm going to choose actor for now. Actor test. And if I open it up, now I can come here, say add component, look for poly SP, select that, and now I have a poly SP uh, a sample player in my uh, blueprint. And you got all the information over here. Let me just make this smaller, it's easier. All the information over here that you had on the other side and the initial patch uh, information right there. Now in the event graph, now obviously you don't need to add the component, you just grab the component, place it there, and you'll have access to its functionality. So if I just do a, a let's say a note, uh, let's use this one now, and let me just use the begin play. So if I do that and I play, hang on a second. Uh, nothing's going to happen because the actor is not in the level. <laughs> so I, I actually, I have to put the actor inside the level, obviously. Otherwise, nothing is actually going to happen. So going back here and playing. Okay, now it, now it works because the actor is in the level. So before I finish up this video, I just want to show you that uh, you can actually load uh, other patches in real time. So if I come here to load patch, I'll play that note, right? Let me give you a few a delay. So give it a little bit of time. One second of, after I play that note, I'm going to load the patch. And this time I'll, I'll load the violin. And, uh, and after that, I'll play a note. Probably best to wait a few seconds till the patch is finished. It does take a uh, a few milliseconds for the patch to finish 0.5 milliseconds should be enough and now we play that note after that uh, okay so okay didn't play the note because I believe the patch wasn't loaded yet so the proper way to do this is actually doing this if I select this guy 
come all the way down here and I press on patch loaded I get this event now this event is only is going to trigger when a patch is loaded okay so and it gives you the patch so the thing is when you start it's going to load the piano patch so the piano patch uh, if, if I wanted to do this what I'm doing here load patch and on patch loaded I would play a note this would play the piano note as well okay so I can actually do that and show you right if I do this right wait one second and then load that patch and here on patch loaded then I say just play a note every time a patch is loaded what's gonna happen is let's go in here we play the piano patch loaded and when a patch finishes loading up we should have a note on now the problem is what's happening here if I play this it's trying to load the patch but the problem is that it's playing the previous patch it didn't stop it didn't give me a note off and the patch is still playing because it's a long sample so what I have to do is stop that okay so if I just grab a little piece of code here if I use a, a delay and I say after let's say 0.4 seconds note off okay untick that same MIDI pitch it needs to be the same MIDI pitch to turn it off so if we do that now okay so if I say two seconds here and I say 1.5 seconds here right okay so you need note off that's why it exists if you don't do a note off and you try to load a patch while it's playing uh, it's not it's not gonna work you need to stop all notes before you load another patch and it's a good thing that I spotted this right now and I'm showing it to you so uh, another way of course you can you can check if uh, what patch is playing by using here the patch name and um, and do things with that okay so I think I think that's it for this video and in the next video I'm uh, we're gonna be creating a patch I'm gonna go into my DAW I'm gonna show you how uh, how you can create a patch using your DAW and a, a virtual instrument that is free uh, it's called Sketch Orchestra it's, it's a very nice or, very nice orchestral instrument and you can create a few patches from it okay so I'll see you in the next video